Welcome to NeoPixels 101. So, in the first video, in the absolute intro video, we took an Uno, we took a strip of pixels, we soldered some wires to them, plugged them into the Uno, and ran the NeoPixel strand test on here, okay? Seems to be working just fine. All right, next thing we're going to do is write our own code, okay? So let's go back to Arduino here. And we're going to pull all the important stuff out and bring it into our new piece of code here. All right. So I'm going to make this a little smaller and bring this over here. Okay. I'm going to, so this is a new sketch here. So you go file, new, and we are, we're going to start writing a new sketch. Okay. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit here so I have room to add things. So the important things, add a fruit NeoPixel here, okay? Copy that, paste that. This is what tells it to include the library, the NeoPixel library, okay? We want to include this LED pin defined. Copy that, paste that. LED count, copy that, paste that, okay? And our object called strip. Copy that and paste that. All right. I'm going to hit enter. Give it a little bit of space. Okay. Next thing we're going to copy is strip.begin. Copy that. And strip.show. All right. So this is everything we need to get this going, okay? So let's take a look at both these here. All right. So what I'm going to do is upload this. I hit upload. It's going to think about it. Now it's compiling it. Oh, there it goes. It's uploading and everything's off. That means it worked, okay? So what we did here was created an object called strip right here, right? With all these parameters in it. We did a strip.begin and strip.show. So strip.begin creates all the data here at zeros, and strip.show sends all those zeros to the NeoPixels themselves. And so now these are all off, okay? So we have our library, our LED pin, LED count, and the actual object called strip now, which we can give commands. So we use one of those commands to begin, one of those commands to show. Next thing we're going to do is give it a custom command here, okay? So strip dot set capital P pixel capital C other, okay? Now I'm going to write this out, but don't copy this, okay? This is just for reference. I'm actually going to put the reference down here. So strip dot set pixel color. So we need to know the pixel, the amount of red, the amount of green, and the amount of blue. And parentheses, semicolon, okay? So we need four parameters, right? First one is a pixel. So when we're looking at pixels on the Arduino here and any microcontroller, even though as humans we might think this is pixel one, machines don't start at one. Machines start at zero, okay? So the first pixel is pixel zero. The next one is pixel one. This is pixel two, pixel three, etc. So it goes all the way up to pixel eight, zero to eight are our pixels, okay? So keep that in mind when we're telling it to do things. So if I want this second pixel to light up, I need to tell pixel one to light up because this is zero, this is one, okay? This is two in machine world. In human world, this is the second one. In machine world, that's pixel two, okay? So keep that in mind. It's a little confusing, but it makes sense once we get deeper into this, okay? 
So under our loop here, we're going to do a strip dot set pixel color. I'm going to set the, I don't know, the third one, which is pixel two, right? Pixel two is the third one. So in our code, strip dot set pixel color two comma. Now these are 8-bit colors. 8-bit just as a quick reference, means 0 to 255, okay? 255 is the maximum value an 8-bit number can be. So if I want it fully red, I could write 255, and then no green, no blue, and parentheses, semicolon. Now I'm going to upload this, but it's not going to work, and I'm going to explain why it doesn't work here. So even though I told it to be red, I didn't actually tell the strip to be red. I only told it to be red in memory, right? So it's uploading, it's an uploading, nothing, right? That pixel is still completely off. Okay, so let's look at our code here. Under loop, we've told it in just in memory to be red. We actually have to broadcast out to the pixels themselves. So strip dot show. And because it's a function, we still need parentheses even though we don't give it any inputs, and then semicolon. Okay, we're gonna hit upload, and we're gonna get a different reaction here. Ah, there we go. Now we got a pixel turned on, okay? So our first challenge today, if you wanna stop this video right now, and you think you can do it or pause the video right now, our first challenge is to blink this LED, okay? And just to give you one clue here, this is the delay function, okay? So basic Arduino, you learn the delay, and if I wanted it to delay for one second, that's a thousand milliseconds, okay? So first challenge here, pause the video, and make that LED blink. If you don't quite know where to start with that, just keep watching the video and I'm gonna start showing you how to make it blink, okay? So, right now our loop, first thing it does is set that pixel to red, right? And then it broadcasts that data out to the strip, right? Because we can see this is red. Next thing our code does right here is it waits for one second, okay? I'm just gonna copy all this because I'm lazy. Okay. So next thing we're gonna do is turn that pixel off. Okay. Which means zero red, zero green, zero blue. And then I'm gonna broadcast to the pixel and then wait another second. So I'm gonna let it stay off for a whole second. Let it stay on for a second, let it stay off for a second. Let's give that a try. And there it goes, on, off. Perfect, cool. All right, so this is NeoPixel 101, okay? We're gonna have a lot more of these videos. Thanks for watching.